Murray to step in and do the weather because of the movie Groundhog Day. <laughs> like every day, Kevin, it seems like the same thing's going on. And you know what? It's not changing. <laughs> every day is going to be about the same around here. Now, there may be a subtle change tomorrow and Wednesday in the sense that there may be more clouds around here, but the overall arching theme is that it is dry, and in fact, it's warm now. I think it's going to be hot by the time we get to the weekend. So we're just stuck in a very dry, dusty, hot pattern, it seems, around here at the moment. There we are. Look at the satellite tonight. And this kind of tells the story of everything, right? There are clouds out to our west. And then there are clouds out to our east. And here we are just kind of sandwiched right in the middle. It's been that way now for the past several weeks, and that's not going to change. Now, some of that cloud cover is associated with a little tropical system that formed off the coast over the weekend is throwing rain back into the Carolinas and parts of the Appalachians. It's also going to pinwheel some clouds towards us, and it will try to even throw some showers in our direction. But much like we saw with Francine, I'm not particularly optimistic about picking up any way in the form of meaningful rainfall out of this system either for us, unfortunately. So overall, not much is going to change in our forecast for us. It's another warm day outside. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures are just coming off of that 90 degree mark for a lot of us. Currently 88 in Hamilton, 85 in Springboro, Brooksville at 85. Most of us are in the middle to upper 80s for what will be another warm and dry evening around here. You know, the other side of the story is it's pretty comfortable out since we don't have the humidity, right? 88 in Harrison, currently 87 in Sharonville and 88 in Mason. So even though it's certainly been on the warmer side of things with no real humidity in the air, the evenings and the nights have just really, really been enjoyable for us. So the rest of this week, mostly dry. And in fact, it gets hotter the second half of the week, and I think going into next weekend. Look outside. There's not a cloud in the sky for this late September sun. Everything's just kind of baking. We're at 84 officially. In fact, the humidity is so low that it actually feels cooler than the real air temperature out there. You don't see that too often. So a warm and dry night transitions into a mostly clear and quiet overnight. We're down into the 60s in the city, 50s out there in the burbs. Here's Futurecast. Remember the cloud cover I was showing you? Here it comes backing its way into the tri-state. But notice no real rain coming our way. Some showers try to scoot into our far southeasternmost communities. So if you're down there around Peebles, back towards Maysville, maybe you can muster out a shower. But again, you can see just not optimistic about wet weather impacting us here in the tri Tri state to any significant degree other than just some passing clouds the next few days. So quiet tonight and comfortable 61 for a low tomorrow because of more clouds. I think temperatures are down a degree or two 85 mainly dry out there. If you're lucky, you could get a shower east of Cincinnati. Here's your seven day forecast. Look at this right here. This looks just like the seven day from last week. In fact, once we lose the cloud cover here in the middle part of the week, I think our temperatures inch their way into the low 90s going into the weekend. And well, you can see Mike and Shree temperatures stay well above normal for this time of the year as long as it stays this dry. Kevin, thank you. Kentucky school sports needing more refs and officials. Yeah.